Hey everyone, this is Matthew at buildyourownblog.net and in this video I want to teach you how to install the social share button plugin so that people can share your blog articles on social media and to help your blog become better known and get more readers. Now as you can see here on Matt's new blog example, on this blog post here there are no share buttons so when somebody reads it it makes it very difficult for them to share it with other people. So what we want to do is install the social share button plugin that will enable people to share this blog post on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+. All right, let's get started. So what we want to do is come over here to the left and go to plugins here in our dashboard and actually scroll down to add new. Okay, so now we're in the plugins. As I mentioned before, I already have a plugin in mind and it's called the social share button plugin. So I'm going to search for it here in the box. I'm going to type in social share button. Hit enter. And here it is right here in the top, upper left. So now I'm going to install it. I'm going to click this button. Click OK. And once WordPress has installed your plugin, then you're going to want to activate it by clicking Activate Plugin. Now you can see the Social Share button is listed in my active plugins. Also, the Social Share button is now showing up over here in my left sidebar where it says SSB Settings. So you want to click on this. Now in your Social Share button settings, this is where you choose many of your displays, like your display on content. If you want the share buttons to display on your content, then you leave it yes. When people click on your share buttons, if you want them to open a new tab to share the links on social media sites, you can have a new tab or the same. And then you're going to choose which social media platforms you want displayed. I'm going to go ahead and check Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn. Then you want to click Save Changes. OK, now here on the next tab over the SSB style, you want to click on that. And this is where you select the different style themes, how you want your, your share buttons to be displayed on your blog post. Down below the article or to the side, the right or the left. And even how many pixels you want in between each button. And whether you want your display share button to be on the top or the bottom of the content. I'm going to go ahead and say bottom. So I'll save these changes. The next tab is the SSB content. This is where you choose yes or no to display the share buttons on the archived pages. I would recommend leaving them and going ahead and sharing them on blog posts that are archived. If you want these share buttons to be displayed on the home page, you can click yes or no. If you want your share buttons to be displayed on excerpt, click yes or no. And then down here, you can filter your display share buttons and share them only on these particular types of files. I would definitely check post and page. Then you want to save changes. And then finally, help and upgrade tab. All this is is the social share button is offering a free customer service help if you need it, which is great. And they're also offering their own share buttons if you'd like to share this plugin with people on social media. You can do that. So I'm going to save changes. Okay, so everything is now set. And now as you can see, when we come back to the blog post here, we see the social share buttons prominently displayed over here to the left. This is going to look a little different depending on which theme you're using. But I think in this 2015 default theme, it looks pretty nice. Well, that wraps up this how-to video on installing the Social Share Button plugin. For additional video tutorials on using WordPress, visit my website, buildyourownblog.net. I'll see you there. Bye for now.